So making decisions to come out of addictions is not just to say, no, I won't do it anymore. There is a follow-up that is required. When you've made up your mind, the reason that decision is important is because the Holy Spirit is not a demon. Demons override your will, but the Holy Spirit respects your will. So before the Holy Ghost can help you, you've got to make the decision that you don't want this anymore. You want the best of God. Good. Now, having made that decision, there are many other decisions you need to make. The next decision you need to make is to submit your weaknesses to the Lord. The problem people have most of the time is they want to prove themselves to God. So they want to let God know they won't do this again. They want to show God that they will not do this again. In their heart, their simple heart, they are trying to make God happy. But I can assure you that before the coming of Jesus, for 1,500 years, the people of Israel tried to prove themselves to God and none was found righteous. Mm -hmm. So quit proving yourself to the Lord. When you come to God, show him your helplessness. Show him your fears. Show him how many times you are falling. Show him how helpless you feel before this thing. Mm. And then ask him to help you. When you come to the Lord and you want to let him know you will conquer this thing because you want to make him happy, you will be in trouble. He knows you and he knows what you're going through. The mm. Bible said he is also stricken with the feelings of our infirmities. So when you come to the Lord, you've got to tell the Lord you're afraid. You've got to tell the Lord you're helpless. You've got to tell the Lord you are not sure this will work. As you open yourself up to the Lord, then he will fill you up. Mm. So the second thing you must master to do is to surrender to the Holy Spirit. Okay. It's when you surrender to the Holy Spirit that he begins to give you the strategies that are peculiar to you. That is where your deliverance comes from. As you tell the Lord your fears and how helpless you are, he may tell you, take a 21 days fast. Mm -hmm. That 21 days fast, the level of power that will be released, you would never have sensed it before and it will break you out. Now, if you go to somebody else who is suffering from masturbation and you tell him the cure to masturbation is 21 days fast, you'll be shocked. He will do 21 days fast and become stronger in masturbation. <laughs> because the power is not in 21 days fast. The power is in the fact that you surrender to the Lord and the Lord prescribed a strategy to deliver you. It's like medical diagnosis. Somebody can have pains on the head. That pain can be stress. Mm. Paracetamol handles it. Mm -hmm. Somebody else can have pain on the head. That pain can be a growth. It will take a CT scan and it will take, you know, operation to, to cut off that growth. So it's not just about the pain. It's about the diagnosis. It's about the, the treatment that follows. You went to the Lord. You surrendered to the Lord. He prescribed a fast. Another person will have to make that decision and also go to surrender to the Lord in truth and in genuineness. And God may tell that person, worship me for seven days. God may tell that person, like God's servant said, Pray in tongues. You know, he said he came to him by revelation. Pray in tongues for one hour, for one month. And the, the, the thing breaks. So you've got to learn to surrender to God. Show God your helplessness. Good. Don't come and show God you are a superstar. When we come out, we can boast to devils that we can do all things. But when we come to God, we fall before him in brokenness. He's the one that prescribes what we must do. And it's in doing it that we are delivered. Mm. So you will leave this place and you go to the Lord and ask him to help you. You would, you would surrender before him. He would give you a strategy. And that strategy will deliver you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.